Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel The Vogue Next Door. So as the title suggests, I will be doing this eye look inspired by Hindash. I've been watching Hindash since the lockdown began and honestly I feel like where I was all this time before I found him. He's so good with his makeup skills. I find his videos so therapeutic to watch. Honestly, I can watch him all day doing makeup on different models. Hindash has a graceful way of doing the eyes. And in today's video, I'm going to try out his style. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I have already primed my eyelids as usual with a concealer and set it with a translucent powder. And now I'm going to put on some scotch tape on the outer part of my eyes to give this look a sharp finish. So for the eyeshadow, I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in the shade the Eye Purple. I'm going to use this shade first. I'm taking this detailed flat shader brush. What I'm gonna do is I'll first take the shade dust off the excess. Now what I'll do is place it like a wing liner. Make sure you're not dragging it or smudging it. We'll do that later. But first, just pack it. I'll follow my waterline and keep it till here. Keep taking the shade, dust off the excess and pack it. So what I'm doing is I am deepening up this area by creating a flick shape. So as you can see, I am following the tape line. When I'll take this off, it will give a sharp edge. Next up, I'm taking this shade on the same brush and I'll place it on the outer part of my wing like this and I will smudge it as I come towards my lash line, like this. And I'm sort of blending it with a very light hand, as you can see. Now again, taking the black shade in the same brush and packing it again. As you can see, I am packing it and lightly blending it with the brown. Next up, I am taking this shade in a controlled blending brush and I'll blend that shade on the outer part of my crease. So here is what you have to keep in mind while blending. Don't hold your brush like this, okay? What happens is that it just controls your movement and you want your brush to move freely. Hold your brush like this. So you have a free movement. What happens when you hold your brush like this, it will leave harsh lines and your blending will not look smooth and the gradient effect will not come off. So hold your brush like this and blend it. As you can see, I'm blending on the outer part of my crease. As I slightly move towards my inner part of the crease, I will drag my brush like this very lightly, following my socket. I'm taking the shade again, but this time on a controlled blender brush and I'll place it on the outer part of my crease where I first place the transition shade. So as you can see, I've created an outer V, like a curved one. I'm going to deepen it up with a black shade. Taking it on the control blending brush, I'm just lightly tapping on the shade and I'll deepen up this curve. Next up, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in the variant Rosé in the Air. In a pretty bad state, but I'm taking this shade, this light cream shade, in a flat shader brush and I will place it on my crease. I will keep building up the intensity because it's a it's a light shade and it takes time to show up. I'm done placing the light cream shadow on the uh, on the lid. Now I will deepen up this area to make this lid pop out even more. I'm using the same shades, lightly taking it, dust off the excess because I don't want to overdo it and lightly bring it to my crease. I'm taking these two shades using the detailed flat shader brush. I will smoke out the lower lash line. 
I'm almost done with my eye look. I'm taking this clean blending brush and blend out the outer part of my crease. So if there are any harsh edges, they will be gone. Make sure you're not overdoing it and blending it with a very light hand because you don't want to take off the pigment of the shadow. Next, I will just lightly tight line my upper lash line using Maybelline's New York Colossal Kajal. Now, many times what happens the whenever we tight line the upper lash line, the pigment somehow comes off to the lower lash line. What you can do to avoid that is tight line on the outer part of your lash line like this. So even if you close your eyes, it will not transfer. For my lower lash line, I am taking this color bar all rounder pencil in Innocent White. For my lashes, I am using Maybelline's Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. For my lashes, I am using Pack Tapered Lashes in 213. These lashes look so natural. They are very lightweight. If you are a beginner, you can go for these lashes. They are very natural looking lashes and they can just up your eye look game in the most natural way. So yes. I will quickly do my base off camera and I will be right back. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed filming it and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. All the products details will be in the description box below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care of your mental health, stay safe and yeah, have a good time. Bye!